drill down to ballot types, pretty six polls. Uh, certain batches on the 850, I can drill down to almost any kind of granular level I want to when it comes to a precinct or ballot. Um, I'm not going to drill all the way down, but what I am going to do is I'm going to search for overvotes and blank ballots. Okay? So I'm going to check those on, I'm going to apply my filter, and it's going to pull up only the ballots that meet that criteria. Okay? So you can see it pulled up four ballots. I'm going to right click it, and I want to say view all ballots. It's going to pull up those ballots on the screen for me, and it's going to tell you up here your ballot <coughs> exception. So right now, this one has, this is a blank ballot. It's 500 votes. So right here, it says blank ballot. So I can look to see, and I can scroll down, and that is a truly, go to the back, that's truly a blank ballot. Okay, so what I can do is say, okay, approve that ballot. Again, I can have, 18 clients doing this, right? So I can say, you guys take precinct whatever through whatever, and you take that, and they can actually go through and do this adjudication on multiple clients all at the same time. Okay, uh, Utah does that. Uh, Everything most, different. Sorry, go ahead. Most time they have like a 32 inch monitor, so you don't have to scroll down so you can right. see the whole ballot mm -hmm. without yeah. having to. Clearly, you'll down. have better monitors than my little laptop here. So a lot of times you'll turn on the uh, portrait mode so you can see the full thing. There's a little ballot notes box in the left hand corner. So if you want to put in any notes in there, who, you know, who is the team, they can initial it or whatever, you can do that. Okay. So once I approve that ballot, all that means is that I looked at it, I approved it. I didn't commit any results or anything yet. I'm just saying I look at it, I only in an admin can actually commit the results, the change results. What I mean by that is if I hit next ballot down here at the bottom, okay, here's a blank ballot. But you can see there's voter intent there. So what I can do is I can click on favorite of Ohio musician. Clearly they wanted to check with John Legend. Go to the next one. If I click over here, it automatically takes me to that contest. So I can look and say Cleveland Indians. I can scroll down the list, click on the next one. They wanted Hawking Hills. If I click on that, it'll automatically take me to the back page. So to get here, though, you yep. have to have it processed, is what we're saying? Yes. The image has to be processed and saved. So we only can only outstep one type of processed ballot. True or not true? True. Obviously, right? That's your question? We can only outstaff, but to the middle, like we put our, I think right in the middle, is that right, Mark? That's correct. And there's only one option, so these would go with those, I guess, right? If we wanted them to be processed and outstaffed for us. Because yes. we want, because yeah. I believe now, um, either on directive or Ohio law, we have to be tying that back to, you know, when we make the decision, tying it back to the original paper ballot. But do you have to pull those ballots out, or can you use the cash flow record to do that? Do you have to physically, se to physically separate them? To That's what I'm asking. Yeah. Do you have to physically separate them, or can you do everything electronically? We don't know yet. I don't think they know. Well, a couple of ways you can do that, right, is take a longer process. But if you wanted to cast them all, right, sort them all out, and then go back later, and then you could use your change your sort settings and just resort your you know, exception balance, right? Don't read anything in, just use the 850 as a sorter just to sort those out for you. And if you never get pulled at the court, you can say, okay, here was the ballot. Here's how the cast vote record counted this ballot as blank, and here's how we as a board, as a board determine how to do, or you guys, whatever it did I right. tabulate that. It keeps both, it keeps the original cast vote record in the system, and it actually keeps the adjudicated cast vote record, so you can put them together. Can we attach a note to that ballot? Yes, yeah, that's, that's what this is right down here. That's what's really nice, too, about the ballot note. So maybe the board voted 3-1 to do this or what have you. So, so yeah. this category that have done. Yeah. Yeah. So when you say there is a way to view the original ballot plus the adjudicated, is that like a simple thing and you're viewing them like right next to each yeah. other, like on the same screen? So if I click on this, 
tabulator CBR. Um, this is the system generated one. Um, if I come up here to more, I can actually view the original or the system. So here's the original. Here's the system generated. So you can put them side by side. Now this one, they're the same because I haven't committed the results yet, but if I were to do that, the system generated would change and then these put these together, you can print these out and put them together and show here's what originally was voted, here's what we changed. And honestly, you probably could do this. Some counties have had heartburn, you know, when it comes to this piece of the puzzle. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're like, oh, hey, that might be, yeah, we'll handle the write-ins here, yeah. but this piece, might, you might keep doing what you're currently doing because this piece has, Started a lot of conversations in counties like, yeah, I don't know if we want to go down this path right now or not, but we want to at least show it. But is there a way to get to like this adjudication without like being able to view results? Huh? Uh, no, because everything would be processed in and counted at that time. Because you'd have to have all those results in there. Because what you're doing here is as you're going through and adjudicating, once you go to commit, it's going to update your results files. I mean, but I guess in theory, you could upload the results, and then you could come here and look at them, but don't look at a yeah, results report, report. Don't look at a that report. Would be the only thing. Didn't Troy, you in Tuscarawas, didn't they start this, and the board kind of just like, we're not doing this? Because they had the paper ballot next to them, or they didn't. They were just leaving it. They were so used to doing it for paper ballot that they were uncomfortable by the time they brought the monitor in and tried to keep track on the screen, and they were making their own notes on table and decided that you know we're just we're not ready for this it's something new um, the board members were older they weren't comfortable with the roles so that's, that's what they did and again this is something that you can turn on or off and that's totally up to you obviously state law but um, you can turn it on and off and continue to do it the way you're doing it now it's just an option that you can use okay so uh, i can go ahead and approve that ballot if i go to the next ballot this one tells me up here I have one on over vote. Okay, so I can come down here and look to see, okay, well this is a valid, and here's my over vote right here. So I can go to it, and it's gonna bring up that over vote. So. so there's my over vote, and I can say that's a valid over vote, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and approve that. I can hit next. It's going to tell me there's another overvote, and clearly they didn't want to vote for Roy Rogers, they wanted Dean Martin. So again, this would be up to your board to determine if this is voter intent or not. If I wanted to, I could come over and change that to so it wasn't an overvote based upon voter intent. And did you talk about the put on hold yet? Not yet. So if I had a question on this, so let's say I'm like, man, yeah, I'm not really sure what I can do is I can put this ballot on hold, add a note to it, and say, hey, we looked at this ballot, we weren't sure, and then whatever admin board you have or review board could come over and let me return to filters. So now what I have is I can actually look to see in my ballot status here, approved with no changes, approved with changes, and then one on hold. So I can actually sort this table to show me, hey, I only want to see the on hold ballots can bring that up, view that note. I think where we see this is thing. maybe you guys go through the initial pass and do the easy ones, and then maybe the ones that are a little controversial or a little up in the air put on hold and maybe have the board look at just the ones on hold. Okay. Once I come back, uh, let's say I'm the board now and I'm going to look at it, I can hit edit that ballot, change it, and approve it. And put a note in. And put a note in, hey, we changed it to this. So it's completely trackable all the way through the system of what you did. Okay. Any questions on that? Can you export just that image of the one on hold? Like for uh, us, yes. our, our main thing for the warehouse, we have to bring that image if we want the board to look at it. Right. Or yep. The so I come down here and I can hit print and it'll, it'll bring it up and I can print that ballot. I can export that ballot. Once I'm done, um, then what I would do is I would have an admin login. 
right? Because again, in electionware, we have all of those rules. Do you guys use those now, like ballot producer and media creator and all those? Okay, well, we have those we have options. The of that, but, uh, yeah. So we have options in here to where you can say, I want a ballot approver and like a uh, results admin. And only a results admin can go in and commit those results. So right now, I've made changes, but if I run a report, nothing's changed. I have to commit those results. So what I would have to do is come up here to the tools. If I was an admin, I would have this. If I wasn't, this would not appear. So I'd go to admin functions, go to settings, and I would have to hit the big commit results button right here. Yes, those ballots and that adjudication has now been saved up into my results. Okay, but again, only an admin can do that. Um, real quick, write-in management, we talked about that. I can add my certified write-ins. If I want to go to write-in review, um, I can hit apply filter, and it's going to bring up all the write-ins that were processed through. Okay. So I can look to see what the write-ins are. I can filter by contest, precinct, polls, by machine over here, and bring them up again. In Johnson, they had a whole team doing this on six, all at the same time, just assigning write-ins, just going down and assigning write-ins. Um, so if I have a write-in that's certified, and I already have it plugged into write-in management, I can drop this down and that name will already exist. So I can just start going down and plugging them in. If I don't have that, I can come here and I can sit, add a new name, do Doris Day on the fly, 